2024, and we're here with Russell Fryer, of course, with Critical Metals PLC, but let's start with the Congo. Uh, everybody out there, there's a lot of misunderstandings about the Congo. Can you tell us what it's really like there? And should investors feel good about looking at Congo-based companies? Thanks for having me, Tracy. It's a very complex and unique country. There's had a lot of issues in the past, but the governments are working through that. Perfect example is the uh, presidential election that happened in December 2023. 20, and it was uh, had a, a contested uh, election. It had a very meaningful opposition party, and yet, the election went over without any hassles. There weren't mass riots. There weren't protests in the streets. And the president, Chetsuketi, was, uh, was inaugurated in January 2024. Again, without protests, without uh, riots in the streets and such. It was very peaceful. So what it does is it proves to the Western world and outside investors that there is a rule of law. There is the handover of power. There are uh, democratic elections. And uh, they will continue to have that moving forward. I, I have an interview with Under, Under Secretary Fernandez later today, and of course, it's his job for the U.S. government to be looking abroad for critical minerals, strategic materials for sustainability. Why should they prioritize the Congo? Well, 60 to 70 percent of the world's cobalt comes from the Congo, and you need cobalt for nuclear uh, power plants. So if you want to move towards green energy and renewable energy, you have to have cobalt for those nuclear power plants. Um, the copper grades are incredibly high, and as we know in South America and Western United States, uh, the copper supply is actually diminishing. So you have to look at these places that uh, previously people have shied away from, that have very high grades, um, have these complex and unique histories, and uh, you have to actually sit down and, and uh, develop an exploration plan to look at these uh, properties uh, to put them in production. So I know you go to the Congo frequently to manage Critical Metals PLC. So I'm an investor, I'm looking at Critical Metals PLC. Give us the highlights. What's, what are the competitive reasons that Critical Metals PLC should be at the top of my research list? Sure. Even with our, our micro market cap, we'll be uh, in production again this year. We were in production last year. We stopped to do a drill program, uh, do some IP, um, and we're going to restart production towards the latter part of this year. So we will be cash flowing and generating profits in 2024. And there's very few micro cap, small cap copper companies that are in, this, in the same realm. Secondly, we have the blue sky of cobalt. Now the cobalt market has been under, under duress slightly, particularly with the cobalt supply coming out of Indonesia. It's about $28,000 a ton right now. But if we have this polymetallic deposit, we get our copper credits and our cobalt credits at once. Uh, that would create massive uh, profits for us in, in free cash flow. You have achieved milestones on a regular, timely basis, or I've been following your story, of course, for the last couple of years. Uh, can you tell us what shareholders should be looking forward to, say, in the beginning of this year? Sure. So the key point is the road. We had a road that's 28 kilometers long that was degraded during the rain season because we had rehabilitated it almost a year ago, and it attracted much more local traffic and they tore apart the road. So, in fact, I was on the phone this morning with uh, the road contractor saying, okay, we ready to start yet, and the mobilization is gonna start soon. Once the road uh, rehabilitation, which takes 60 days, is complete, we do have ore on the pad to sell. So we've got a few thousand tons of high-grade ore ready to go to the market. And we had seven buyers. We do have an offtake agreement with OM Metals uh, out of the DRC. So we will have uh, some sales uh, on the second half of uh, your first half of this year, right, in Q2. Uh, we're going to do some more drilling. That drilling results will go into a JORC report, and we'll be able to announce to the market what we have. Well, I'm going to ask the obvious question, of course. I mean, you have a very impressive board of directors. Are you going to be looking at any M&A deals here this year? Or? Yes, so we look in both uh, domestically and also in the surrounding countries. Uh, I was speaking to a potential target again this morning in one of the surrounding countries. Um, what I really want to do is get the road started, the rehabilitation started, and then I can focus on uh, the, the uh, mine next door. Copper, cobalt in the Congo, Critical Metals PLC is listed on the London Stock Exchange. Thank you so much for joining us today, Russell. Thank you for having me, Tracy.